what you can see behind me will very soon be my own scuba diving room. Our dreams when we're growing up. <laughs> and as soon as I started scuba diving and collecting my own gear, I really wanted to have a whole dedicated room just for my scuba stuff so I could actually look at it. I hate having it all in boxes. I hate having it tucked away. I love actually being able to like look at my gear, choose which gear I'm gonna take to which trip and be able to do videos for you guys with all the gear on show. So I'm super excited. You guys might have seen my last scuba wardrobe video that I did, which was in my old flat a couple of flats ago way before COVID and I had a spare room and I basically had a rail with all of my wetsuits, all of my swimwear in on and I also had a little cupboard with it but this time we're talking bigger, we're talking plans here. I'm planning what it's gonna look like rather than just putting it on a rail. As you can see at the moment, it is just an empty room. It is kind of like my little gym area. It's an upstairs room, the angles are kind of everywhere, but it doesn't matter. I'm working with the space. It is currently February, it's snowing outside. But this video is gonna be my scuba dive transformation room. From this going on to what you will see, which has not even been done yet. I wanna do some upcycle features. I wanna use things I've already got. And I don't wanna to spend too much money. I wanna do it on somewhat of a budget. And I want the results to be really unique. This isn't something you can just go on Pinterest and look for a scuba diving room. Gotta create it myself. <laughs> Currently, half of the boxes are here. The other half are there. Doesn't actually look like that much, but there is a lot of equipment in it. So as I wanna have like a video feature that I can do my videos in, this is the main wall that I wanna have as my video feature wall. This has gotta go. It's gonna be a cold room, but that radiator really is getting in the way of my visioned progress. Let me show you the vision. So on that wall behind me, I wanna have it as a feature as a feature wall and I don't want to have my equipment there. I want that to be where I'm filming the videos and where I can bring equipment in to show. So I had a little think about what I can do because obviously the colour is not the one and I found some underwater wallpaper. Now this is just a sample and this is like the full, sa full sample of what it should look like. So effectively the whole wall behind me will look like we're completely underwater. Can you see? So I found this just from a wallpaper company, I'll link it below. And I, I've done the measurements and it looks like it's gonna cost just under 200 pounds to just wallpaper the one wall, which is quite expensive for me. But going with the rest of the project, there's not actually that much more to spend because a lot of the rest of it is gonna be upcycled and DIY homemade things. So I think that this is gonna be the majority of the budget on wallpaper. Once that radiator's gone, then obviously it's a full wall and I've got to wallpaper it myself. And I'm not gonna lie, I've never wallpapered anything in my life. <laughs> so this is gonna be a first. planning for this to happen. It's like 11 o'clock at night and I haven't left the room. Check out this amazing display behind me. I just love it. My brother-in-law made this hanger for me out of driftwood from Lime Regis Beach, which is our local beach, and came around today and drilled it on the wall and just look how amazing it is. I'm just obsessed. I just think it's so lovely and I mean, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of mess. A week now since my last update. Not too much has happened. Seem to put more stuff in here than taken out. But it's all right, we're getting somewhere. The wall is still not even slightly done. I need to get that radiator taken off before I can actually wallpaper the wall. So that's my excuse to not getting it done. This is looking lovely behind me. I'm loving it. I keep changing what's on it and what's not on it. And I've got a few more bits of driftwood, which I just found out that you have to kind of prepare before you actually put it in your house because obviously it's got little bugs in it and you want to kill those off. So I've had it in bleach, in diluted bleach for a couple of days and then I'll bring it back up here. I've managed 
to get the radiator off. It's here now. So this wall is actually ready to be wallpapered, but I keep paying it off because I just don't think I'm going to be able to do it well. But there we go, we'll try something new. I got myself a little clothes hanger, which I really love, and it goes well with like the wood theme. And that's going to hold some of my wetsuits. But as you can see, there's still a lot of wetsuits and rush vests and everything else that has not been yet unpacked. What else is new in the room? Some little, little things. I got some hooks. I got these off eBay, six of them. I think they were like 15 pounds, maybe. Maybe even less than that. How cute are they? So I'm just gonna hang. I don't know what yet I've got my swimsuits on. Got some new hooks. This is gonna be the hanger when that eventually happens. Mm, nothing else is new. So slowly getting there. So I'm just screwing these in. It drilled a hole in it to begin with and screwing these in. And then this part of wood is gonna become like a hanger. Let's see if it works. Nice! <laughs> it worked. It was super easy. Just a bit of wood. You do need to have a drill and drill some holes in and put those little like eyelet things. I don't know, I'm still learning. Um, but yeah, now I'm gonna hang some things and I feel like this room has got so much stuff to hang things on but I need more kind of like practical, like storage solutions. <laughs> Otherwise everything is just gonna be hanging up and it's basically gonna look like a wardrobe. So I might have to slow down on the driftwood making hanger thingies. I've never had a project which I've like been so excited for yet consistently put off. It's crazy. When I first, found out about moving into this house. I couldn't sleep at night because I was thinking about my scuba room, how I'm gonna have it. But now I'm here and I'm like in the room. I just like my motivation for it is gone. I think because I haven't been diving in so, so long and it, I don't know when I'm gonna be diving again. We're still in lockdown here in the UK and we're in March, we're like mid-March, we're in lockdown. So it's really hard to get that motivation and actually I find it really hard like seeing all of my gear and just being like, ah, uh, and like touching it and being like, wow, remember those days. Anyway, I'm not gonna moan because I'm so lucky to have all of this and to have a spare room to like create into my scuba. What's the latest? What is the latest? Um, probably this little bit behind me, that little bit of driftwood, which I think I'm gonna hang masks on. Um, that bit of driftwood, which I made into a little hanger, um, but everything else is kind of still in boxes. That's the uh, piece de la resistance, which is still not done. My wallpaper. I spent £200 on wallpaper. It's the only thing I've spent money on in this room and it's been sitting in its box for about three weeks now. It's equal part like out of my depth, equal, equal part procrastinating equal part, not wanting to do it. I didn't think I've ever like really wanted to wallpaper anything, but I'm not gonna do it today, but I was gonna do it today. But I'm not, I'm not gonna do it today. Instead, I am going to hang all of my masks, which are currently in a little display thing I got from a charity shop, onto my bit of driftwood. has finally come to wallpaper this wall behind me. This was kind of like the big thing about the scuba room. I really wanted to have that like backdrop of the ocean behind me, yet it's the last thing I've done. I've managed to do everything else, but I've been putting this off for so long because I feel like it's gonna be really hard. And also I feel like then, then it's done and I'm actually just loving spending all my time just fiddling and doing little bits with this room. It's turned out so nice. I'm so, so happy with it. You get another new little wardrobe -y thing. Let me show you. 
Yep, so that's new as well. So I kind of don't want that to be as busy as that one. <laughs> This one is kind of like not even keeping the wetsuits up at the moment. Wetsuits are heavy, especially when we've got a lot of them. But this one, I want it to be more of like, you can actually see what's on it. So it's just got some swimwear on it. So this is the wallpaper. <laughs> here it is. Been here for weeks. Finally, gonna get it on the wall. Got a bucket, mix my wallpaper paste. I've watched two YouTube videos, so I'm pretty sure I'm experienced now. Um, and I'm really, really nervous that I'm gonna fuck this up and then the whole room is gonna be a disaster. But it's like three o'clock on a Saturday afternoon, probably not the best time to start a massive project, but I feel like if I don't do it now, it's never gonna get done. It's happening. These are my tools to wallpaper this. Hmm. <laughs> to cut them all and then I have to put them up one by one, like one sheet at a time. If I don't know which way it's supposed to go, like left or right, it's already too hard and I'm gonna have a coffee break. Coffee break over, it's already quarter past four and I've still not started, so. I've got four liters of water, so I'm gonna put the paste in. We've just gotta do this, we're doing it. I can't believe it, I'm already like three quarters of the way done. Look, it looks so good on camera as well, I hope. Um, it was actually a little bit easier than I thought. It's still hard, it's really tricky to get the top and the bottom, but it is the exact desired look I'm looking for, my ocean background. So I've just got this bit to do, and that's the, uh, that's the hard angle there. But yeah, it's only uh, half past five. <laughs> Killing it, Sarah. Well done. I only bloody finished it, haven't I? <laughs> Maybe only like two hours, less than two hours, and I have created an underwater masterpiece. You know, the, 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 it's not great around the top, the bottom, but nobody's gonna look at that. But check it out. How cool does this look? Now I've got to put the room all back together and then I think we're pretty much scuba room finished. I have this empty, obviously empty, gin bottle, mermaid gin. So I'm gonna put these little fairy lights in it. Just have it as like a little bit of decoration. Leave it, it is done. The scuba room is finished. This wall, it only went and bloody worked, didn't it? I didn't waste my 200 pounds and I didn't mess it up too much. I'm so happy the whole room 
is finished. Here is what it's looking like. Coming up, and you enter into the scuba room. Oh my gosh, never gonna get over this. Right, let's start from the door. We have got an old chest, whatever you wanna call it, display case, which I think I got from a charity shop or my aunties, who knows. Then I made this little driftwood hanger, which I've put my bikinis on now because <laughs> I couldn't fit the actual <laughs> hangers on properly, but whatever, you know, you get the vibe. Then we've got the BCD corner, another bit of driftwood with my free BCDs. Then we've got the fin corner, not corner, the fin wall, which again, made from little bits of driftwood and really lovely and amazingly holds all my fins. Still got one pin there to add some more fins to. Then I have got the swimsuit slash legging slash shorty rack. I love that. Uh, underneath then it's obviously got my bag storage. My bag storage has been quite hard. Still haven't feel like I haven't got that in the right place. This little beauty, another piece of driftwood from Devon. Um, just hanging a few of my, these aren't actually dive computer guys, computers, I don't own like fives and toady fives. <laughs> They're just dummy ones that they were sent to me for promo, um, but they have the, mar the straps on, which I change. Um, then just got some neoprenes, then this is the wetsuit rack. This, can you see how it's bent? <laughs> does not hold wetsuits. This bad boy in itself is like a couple of kilos. <laughs> Some of them are very heavy, um, so it's a bit precarious, but it does the job for now. And then ponchos. And then this little crate was from a wine shop um, that they weren't using anymore, so we took that. Um, and then that has got like, this is gonna be like product display for like product videos and stuff, so there's some amazing new products in here. Um, some of which have not even come out yet. This is my lovely mermaid gin bottle. Um, look at that, flashing and everything. Um, that's, yeah, just an upcycled gin bottle with some fairy lights to put in. The fairy lights are like two pounds. Super easy way to like upcycle, I mean that, that's the wall. You know, you guys know the wall. Right, then on to another little handmade hanging rail from more driftwood. And then this has got all my rash vests on it. And then it's got a trash bag there. Then this wall, to be fair, this is the only bit that isn't really completely done. The window still's looking a little bit dirty. But I've got all these amazing whale hooks, which are just holding like miscellaneous items. Those are tank covers, they're so fun. Obviously the girls at Scuba Flag. Um, we've got weight belts, we've got some dry bags. Then we've got this beautiful mask hanger, which is another bit of drift wedge, and it's just holding all of my masks. How fun is that, I love it. And then, this is my favorite part of the room. I just absolutely love this hanger. Driftwood, you know, you know it by now. But I just think it's so beautiful, that piece of driftwood, and just hangs my regulators really well. Obviously my beloved free diving seat. I just think it looks great. So one of the main reasons for this wall was to do exactly this, to have a video background. That's not just white, that's fun. And it's completely clean, there's nothing obstructing it. So this is what a lot of my videos are gonna look like from now on. I'm so happy with it, because the great thing is, is this is quite zoomed in, but if we zoom out, you can also see, I can use this as, you know, for when I'm showing a product, show one of my rash vests, and then we can use this if it's something a little bit smaller. So there's actually loads of elements of the wall other than just the, zoomed in <laughs> the zoomed in like classic background i'm so happy with it i'm so happy with how it turned out this is like my haven i just can't wait for when people can visit and i can be like come to my scuba room maybe have some like meetings here i don't know it's just so much fun i love it i'm so like inspired and motivated when i'm constantly looking at the products and i'm just really excited to show you guys what I've managed to collect over the last 10 years of diving and all of the new products coming out and everything we're doing at Girls at Scuba with my wall. So happy.